Hi scholars, welcome to your problem of the day and writing prompt for Wednesday, April 13th, 2020. This is our last week of, of well, learning from home and doing assignments on home. Although learning never stops, this is your last Wednesday um, problem of the day and writing prompt for the year. So proud of you guys that you have been pushing through, even though we've had so many changes so proud of you and let's finish off strong. Let's get started. All right. So problem of the day is I'm going to have questions and I want you to answer the following questions as best as you can. Send your answers to your teacher if you got to see if you got them correct. Excuse me for that. Um, so I'm going to post three questions and I'll read them aloud to you. I want you to answer the questions by yourself without me giving you the answer and then send them to your teacher and see if you got the right answer. Now these questions that I picked are questions that I have taught you every Wednesday so they're going over what we have learned just a different question and these are from a star test so if you can do these props to you. Um, we didn't get to take a star test this year, but we're getting the practice. So here we go. Even though it says number 19, this is number one. I just took it from the test, so it may be numbered off. That's okay. This is number one. There are two different vegetables in a garden. There are five rows that have 16 carrot plants in each row. There are 72 spinach plants. How many vegetable plants are there in the garden? A, 152, B, 88, C, 93, D, 122. Solve it on your own. You can push pause and we can go to the next one. All right, if you're ready for the last question of problem of the day, let's go ahead and start. Question three. Dennis planted a flower garden while a rectangular section or with a rectangular section and a square section as shown. What is the total area of the garden in square feet? A 56 square feet, B 112 square feet, C 80 square feet, or D not you may go back to any question that you need um, more time to answer or change your answers. Remember, send your answers to your teacher and let's see if you got the right answers. All right, moving on to your writing prompt for the day. Write about your experience, how your experience has been learning at home. Now, this hasn't happened um, this experience that we're in and the situation that we're in has never happened before. So how has it been learning at home for you? Some questions to consider while you're writing. What do you like not like about learning at home? Do you like learning on the computer? How do all the changes make you feel? And to end on a good note, what are you grateful for going through this experience? Don't forget to send your response to your teacher. And I am, again, so proud of you that you've made it this far. Again, like I mentioned, this has never happened before. So you guys are the first group of kids that is going through the situation that we're in. And I'm so proud of you that you are making this time count, like we talked about in the morning video. Morning video and so proud that you are still continuing your learning. Can't wait to talk to you soon. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys.